Pete Buttigieg. Resentment and nostalgia is not the formula for the middle of the country. I can't wait to share that with the rest of America. Julian Castro. We need universal health care so that everybody can have it. Tulsi Gabbard. My record in Congress over the last six years reflects what is in my heart. A strong and ongoing commitment to fighting for LGBTQ rights. Cory Booker. And I understand that, that the penalty comes with potential ousting from the Senate. And if Senator Cornyn believes that I violated Senate rules, I, I, I openly invite and accept the consequences of my team releasing that email right now. And I'm releasing it to expose that number one, the emails that are being withheld from the public have nothing to do with national security. Now, I appreciate the comments of my colleagues. This is about the closest I'll probably ever have in my life to an I am Spartacus moment. Elizabeth Warren. If the question is, can we make the Affordable Care Act better and we can find some Republican colleagues to do that? Absolutely. We should do what we can to improve it. Kirsten Gillibrand. The key issues of her platform are going to make health care more equitable as well as education. She says she also wants to fight institutional racism. The NRA has a chokehold on Congress. Uh, the NRA is concerned only with gun sales. It is literally all about money. It is all about greed. It has nothing to do with the Second Amendment. Kamala Harris. People in power are trying to convince us that the villain in our American story is each other. But that is not our story. That is not who we are. That is not our America. These are the names in the Democratic field for president, and they are all under the impression that they are what's right for America after their party rode a wave of fake news, bullying the American people and its president, and backing policies of big government handouts. Do any of them have the support they claim to have? Current pseudo-frontrunner Democrat Senator Kamala Harris's presidential announcement received less than 100 retweets, despite her having a massive following of 2.2 million Twitter users. From this day forward, a new vision will govern our land. Of course, all of them will have to contend with the shadow of this man. And I'm not just talking about President Trump. They called me Coon Man. My belief that I did not wear that costume or attend that party stems in part from my clear memory of other mistakes I made in the same period of my life. That same year, I did participate in a dance contest in San Antonio in which I darkened my face as part of a Michael Jackson costume. I look back now and regret that I did not understand the harmful legacy of an action like that. It is because my memory of that episode is so vivid that I truly do not believe I am in the picture in my yearbook. While outlier Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz is already facing the Democratic mob for potentially dividing the anti-Trump support. I, I was a supporter and am a supporter of the Affordable Care Act, which I think can be improved and, and enhanced so that the premiums come down for families. Healthcare is a human right! So I... Healthcare is a human right! Uh, Healthcare is a human right! In any event, perhaps creepy uncle Joe Biden or even national security threat numero uno Hillary Clinton will ride into the rescue on their platforms of sheer bullshit. But it's still too early to tell. John Bound reporting. <laughs>